In this presentation, we're going to look at how to compute the inverse of matrix using the cofactor method. Now, uh, here's the matrix we have here. Uh, top row is 1, minus 1, and 0. Middle row is minus 1, 2, and 0. The bottom row is minus 2, 2, and minus 1. So lots of minuses knocking around, so just be careful that you don't drop any signs. So, just as a remark, what I'm going to sort of say is that I'm not going to do this, but what I'm going to do is uh, state that the determinant of this matrix is minus 1. Now, the thing about this is, as uh, first off, I'm not going to show where it comes from, although you might be able to guess it very quickly. Pick a row or column. Let's pick that one there. Get the determinant of its uh, the, the minor submatrix, which is that. You might be able to do it in your head there, and so on. So that is one times two uh, plus uh, minus minus one times minus one. So that's two minus one is one. So minus one times one, and oh, well, I've just practically done it there. Anyway, uh, that is the determinant. There is minus one. Now, I'm going to also make another statement here because there's something in what we're going to do here called the cofactor. Essentially, there's two parts to this. I'll just write them down here. There is the minor and the cofactor uh, of an element. Now, the cofactor is essentially a signed minor, okay? So, and its signing depends a lot on its position in the matrix. So the minor and the cofactor are two very important things here. And the cofactor is a signed uh, matrix, a uh, signed minor. So what I'm going to do here first off is just actually uh, talk about this signed business. Okay. So let's just say for argument's sake, this is the position of the the first element, the first row, first column here. Okay. Now we're not interested in the value of that element. Uh, we are interested in essentially its sign is plus or minus. So what I'm going to sort of look at is its row number and its column number. So for this cell here, the row number is one, the column number is one. And what we're going to do here is put uh, calculate minus one to the power of the sum of the row number and the column number. So that is minus one, one plus one. That is equal to plus one. Okay. So what we're going here would be plus one. This is the sine array. Okay. Now let's look at this one here. Uh, that would be let's start this again. Minus one to the power of uh, one plus two. That is minus one cubed, and that is equal to minus one. Okay. So this element here would be minus 1. And you go on like that. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Minus 1 to the power of 4 is plus 1. And so on. So they actually alternate. Starting in the top left corner and working down and out. They alternate. Okay. Like that. You could try out a few more of them there. Okay. So, now I'm just going to sort of remark, we've talked about this minus 1 to the power of the sum of the row number and the column number. That minus 1 has got nothing to do with the determinant. It is completely different. It it's just happens to have the same value. So just totally separate in your mind uh, any connection that that minus 1 has with the determinant, which also just happened to be minus 1. Now, if you recall there a minute ago, I said we have plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, and so on. It doesn't have to be a 3 by 3. Minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, and so on. Just for the sake of making it a little bit easier to read. And by the way, the 1, 2, 3 at the top is just to indicate the row numbers. I'm going to get rid of them now. Is that we might put it in as plus minus, plus, minus, and so on. Next row, minus, plus, minus, plus, so on. Plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. It's sort of like a chess board, actually, if you get me, okay? Just alternating like a chess board 
like a chessboard would alternate between black and white, this would alternate between plus and minus. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about what this means shortly, but I'm just going to sort of... Essentially, doing multiple plus means we're going to multiply by uh, plus one, which is to sort of say, leave it alone. And minus means multiply it by minus one, okay? That's the sort of significance of the sine array. It, it has, uh, we have to, we're going to decide, depending on its, its position, we're going to do, perform this little operation later on. I'm going to come back to that. But when um, the position on the sine array, according to the sine array, is very important. Do we multiply by plus one or do we multiply by minus one? Okay. Now, let's get down to business. What I'm going to do here is quickly I'm going to compute all of the minors and the corresponding cofactors for each element in this array. So here I have, let's look at this one here. Now what I do is I get rid, uh, I omit the row and the column that this uh, element is on okay and I get the determinant of what is left now this is what is left here this 2 and 2 this 0 and this minus 1 okay so when I get the uh, so I get the determinant of that sub matrix that's left okay and it turns out to be minus 2 I just has that, have that one done already now this is the important bit that's the minor now the cofactor signed minor and that essentially what we do here is the cofactor is minus no it is uh, sorry I just got skipped ahead there it is um, minus uh, sorry it is plus one times minus two and the answer is minus two now let's be clear about this plus one times minus two that's because it again it is in a plus position in the sine array that the element that we were working with okay that was an easy enough one okay but what we're going to do now is go on to the next element here and it is as follows where is it there we go it's the minus one in the top row so get rid of the omit the row omit the column okay get the determinant of what is left minus one minus two zero and minus one what is that that is one cofactor there is one now this is in a negative position on the sine array this this cell here this is a negative position Okay, so what we're going to do to get the cofactor is multiply the minor by minus one. Okay, so that is minus one times one. So the cofactor is actually minus one. Okay, so that's important now. So depending on what position we're in, is it one times the minor or minus one times the minor? So here, I'm just going to try to go through this real fast now. Uh, they, we're looking at that element there, the zero, cross off the row, cross off the column. Just as a remark, it's in a plus position on the sine array. So the minor there is the determinant of the submatrix of, sub of what is left. And that is equal to 2. Now the cofactor is plus 1 times 2 and that is also equal to 2 okay so moving on we're here now that's a negative position on the sine array so just put a little minus sign there it's in a negative position and what are we left with we're left with this these, this element these elements two elements here from the top row these two elements here in the bottom row okay I think I've actually uh, put in an additional sign that I should not have uh, to one yes I accidentally put this in so the determinant I just uh, you have to be very careful with the signs and I've just uh, I might have actually made potentially made a mistake somewhere with a negative sign or and I might have uh, 
just not being paying attention. Then anyway, this works out to be one, okay. And because this is in a negative position on the sine array, so our cofactor is minus one times one, and that is also e that is also that's equal to minus one. S moving on to the middle value here, the middle uh, element of our our array, this two here. So cross off the row, cross off the column, just to remark it's in a plus position according to the sine array. So that's the co uh, that's the, the, the minor is the determinant of what is left, which is this element here, this element here, this element here, and this element here. And that is equal to, so the determinant of 1 times minus 1 is essentially just minus 1. It's in a plus position, so the cofactor is plus 1 times minus 1, and that's equal to minus 1. Okay, so next one, the 0 here. Get rid of the row, get rid of the column. It's in a negative position, make note of that. The determinant is, the minor is the determinant of uh, that. It turns out to be equal to 0. Okay. 1 times 2 minus minus 2 times 1, so it's 2 minus 2, which is 0. The cofactor is also going to be 0. Now, correctly, it would be minus 1 times 0 because of the sine array. There, the sine array. The, because of its position, but it's a sort of stating the obvious a little bit, so I won't really remark upon that any further. Uh, next one, let's go to the next row here. We are down here now at this minus 2. Didn't really mean to rub it out like that, but there we go. So it's minus 2. So uh, you notice what is left here is this is the submatrix of what is left. Now we're asked to find the determinant of that because it has all zero, a row of a column of all zeros. We know automatically that the minor is going to be 0. You can try it out, check it yourself. And the cofactor is also going to be zero because it's uh, well, it's plus one times zero. But now, if we know the minor is zero, we know the cofactor is zero. Simple as that. Uh, moving on. So where are we now? We are here. So cross off the row, cross off the column. What are we left with? Uh, there we go. Uh, one and minus one in the first column. Zero and zero in the second column. So the minor is going to be the determinant of 1, minus 1, 0, 0. Again, that's going to be worked out to 0. So the cofactor is 0. Just as a remark, this is in a negative position in the sine array. That's a negative position. And finally, the last one. After all that, here we are, right at the end. Cross off the row, cross off the column. What happened there? That's the little, that's the little accident. Cross off the row, cross off the column. What are we left with? That stuff there. And that is the minor there. Is the determinant of that. And that is equal to... the. Let's put this in, in blue. The determinant is the determinant of 1, minus 1, minus 1 and 2. That works out to be 2. Okay. Now, we're in a plus position on the sine array. So the cofactor... The cof uh, co is plus one times two that's also equal to two brilliant that's it all done so that's a good lot of work it takes a lot while to get through that there now this is um i'll tell you what what i'm going to do here is i'm going to sort of uh pause this for a second and just remark upon the minor array the uh minor array i'll actually just there they are just unpaused there and wrote it in the cofactor array is similar uh, sorry the cofactor matrix is as follows so it's going to be minus two I'll put this in the blue uh, minus one minus two minus one minus one zero 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 minus one okay now that's the cofactor uh, matrix now this is a very important step here what I'm going to write in now is a thing called the adjugate matrix of A, and that is the cofactor matrix. I'm just going to write this in as COF of A. I have it written here as just C of A, but I'll 
C of F of A cofactor and it is the transpose of that okay so what I'm going to do here is transpose uh, the cofactor matrix just make some space here that's not actually the cofactor matrix so or the uh, the adjugate matrix is the the, uh, the cofactor um, matrix is the transpose of the cofactor matrix and it looks like this I'll just actually write it in the name adjugate uh, matrix Uh, it is as follows adjugate uh, A T J of A let's have it here that is minus 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 and 2 0 and 1 okay now one more step the inverse of a is 1 over the determinant of a times the adjugate of a so what we have to do there is the determinant as we sort of said at the start of this video is minus 1 so the inverse of a is the minus 1 times the adjugate so I'm just going to write it here again a to the minus 1 is as follows so essentially what we have to do here is uh, divide by minus 1 for each cell so I'll actually just change the sign in this particular instance just change the sign of the adjugate matrix I'll just write it out fully so what we have here at the heel of the hunt is 2 1 0 1 1 0 and minus 2 0 and minus 1 okay so after 17 minutes we have uh, inverted our matrix using the cofactor method